Hey everybody, this is The Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about... Nev Campbell will not be back for Scream 6. Yes, this is the first Scream movie to not have that of Nev Campbell. I am very surprised, in some ways I'm not. Now, they say it's because of salary negotiations. They just can't match her feet. Jeez, I didn't know she was like that huge of a superstar. <laughs> like I knew she was famous and everything, right? But I haven't seen her in nothing other than the Scream movies in over a decade and a half, even two decades to tell you the truth. Because like, I forget that she's a Canadian actress. Therefore, all of her like stuff that she does is over in Canada and stuff. So I completely forget about that. Cause like, I knew she was on Party of Five, then she did Scream. Then she did The Craft, then she did Wild Things, and then she just did a bunch of screen movies. And I didn't know that she's been doing TV shows and movies, so I don't think about stuff like that because she's not from my country. <laughs> but yeah, this does suck in a way because she is Sydney Prescott. Every screen movie needs her. However, like I said before, I was not a fan of Scream 5. Like, I just wasn't. Her role in Scream 5 was really stupid stupid and lackluster. It was pointless having her in Scream 5. So I think there's more than just like, you know, a salary negotiation type thing. I mean, maybe it clicked in her head like, hey, what was the point of me coming back in the fifth movie if they barely did anything with me? And the movie now has a new final girl. I mean, now when you look at it, it's pointless for Courtney Cox, Gail Weathers to even come back. Like, why would she come back for? Her husband's dead. Her best friend is like not going to be in it. So it's just like she's just going to be like, you know, talking to a bunch of like people she barely knows and everything that's way younger than her. And at some point, they're going to get rid of Gail. Um, they're going to find a way in the future to get rid of her, either by death or she's just going to move on because it's kind of like it's pointless now just to have her. And I'm not liking the direction these franchise is going in. It just needed to end. It should have ended with four. Plain and simple as that. I mean, technically, it should have ended with three, but four was pretty good. So it should have just ended with that. But yeah, she is not going to be in the sixth movie. And I wonder how that is going to affect, like, you know, sales of tickets and people going to see it. Because we go to see Scream for Nev Campbell, period, you know? And normally when stuff like this happens in the past, they will just make the next movie come out on direct to DVD. Like they did with uh, I Will Always Know What You Did Last Summer, the third movie. But... With Scream, can you really do that, direct the DVD? They just need to end the franchise because they're killing it and not in a good way. The TV show was lackluster. The fifth movie was lackluster. They're killing this great. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.